Hello and welcome to this very special global investigation carried out by the Indian Express over the last several months, along with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, the ICIJ, and the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung from Munich. I have with me Jay Mazumdar and Sandeep Singh, two of the Indian Express's crack team of reporters who mounted this investigation called the Paradise Papers over the last 10 months or so. But And, and I'm going to ask them how they did what they did. Congratulations for this incredible job, this incredible Thank stories you. that you have been uh, talking about these last few days. Now tell me, Jay, what did you do? What was the process? How did you mount this, this enormous um, story? The process was not very different uh, from uh, Panama Papers because uh, some patterns changed, but more or less the global team was the same. And we had the experience of working with ICIG earlier and so with uh, our German colleagues. But this time our focus was more on security because when we were working for Panama Papers, nobody knew that we were at it. But, okay. but this time uh, there so, was... So the world had come to, the world was now more inured in a sense to yeah. this global investigation. That's true. That's so true. Sandeep, um, how long did this, when did you start working on this story? We started, uh, I think, December end or January onwards, we were on the project. January of 2017, so yeah. you've been at it for 10, 11 months. 10, 11 months, yeah. Okay. And yeah. what did you do? Did you work on a daily basis? How did you do? And how did you guys decide? How did the Indian Express decide that this is? these are the stories that needed so, to be so, done? So uh, uh, there were a set of files related to India. So initially, I mean, from the uh, database that they had, uh, everything was just put in there, which, mm -hmm. which is a list of uh, these millions of documents across country companies, uh, across various countries. So that was there. Out of that, we had to first filter down to the Indian list. Then we uh, divided it among ourselves. Uh, dip, uh, as we know, there are, there are like 60,000 or, or, or documents. 60,000 so documents related? To Indian companies. Only to Indian companies. Okay. Okay. Now, these 60,000 doesn't mean there are just 60,000 files. Within each document, there are like another five or six files. Mm -hmm. So the number of files may be humongous. I mean, it, it was further down, down the line. There were f many more files within each so document. So how many more files would you say <laughs> in these 60,000 files? Um, on an average, you can take uh, five pages per file. So it will be... Uh, but 300,000 yeah. uh, pages of of documents that you were reading? At least. Uh, it, it would be easily more than that. Yeah, yeah even more. And, uh, and and since it was clearly impossible for one person or to each do, to, so. to go through all the files, yeah. so we had to divide. And uh, if you are uh, checking your share and you come up with a find, it makes sense that uh, you pursue that story to avoid duplication. Mm -hmm. so, so, so what happened, we, we divided these documents within ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are how many people in your team? We were five of us. Okay. Uh, and uh, um, so, so almost 12,000 files come to uh, per documents person. per person. Now we go uh, through all the documents. We s sat through the night and we looked into those documents, figure out if there are any companies that are coming up. Mm -hmm. So based on those, we uh, po uh, picked out all the names of the companies first who were there in the list. Okay. So all of us then we would meet on a weekly basis to figure out what are, what, are, what is that? When did you meet on a weekend? Because during the rest of the week you were working in the in the office, weren't uh, you? There was nothing hard for us, but uh, we made sure that we meet at least once a week because sometimes it can get uh, tiring and frustrating because it's all a matter of luck. Yeah. Sometimes uh, for 10, 15 days you won't come up with anything. And so wait, so wait, if you if you had these say 20,000 uh, pages of uh, of documents that you were supposed to read, so it was your responsibility to sort of find the the story in in those pages but so, before but before i ask you about your process within the office tell me how many newspapers globally were involved with this almost 100 100 newspapers okay, give me some key key names of the uh, newspapers of key the newspapers and TV, 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 TV channels okay. Okay. new york times the new york times the BBC. guardian okay bbc okay le monde uh -huh. And Sudoshi. Sudoshi Zaitu, of course, the German. Uh, ABC for Corner in Australia and. Uh, Japanese one? Uh, 
Yeah. So, so when these, uh, when you uh, broke this, when you broke these stories, uh, when you when you started two days ago, are you saying that all these newspapers around the world broke the same stories at the same time? Not the same. Not the same stories. Oh no, but you were in charge of India. India. Uh, you so, you had the so stories specific to their countries. But, uh, but all the, at the, the same, same time. That's true. Okay, and so everybody, every each of these papers was working on their stories for the last ten months. Yes. Okay. So now I we return to your yeah. investigation yeah. inside the Indian Express. So, so what once, did you do? Once we uh, got the list of all the Indian companies, which took I think around a couple of months, that we find took uh, yeah, the, uh, a month. Initial search took us about ten weeks. Or so. Now, now, these paradise papers that they're called, why are they called the paradise papers? Because these are all uh, offshore secrecy jurisdictions and they're all uh, islands. And, and it is not just and one, one island. Yeah. Uh -huh. Apple V, which is the main service provider here, it offers services across Bermuda headquarters, then BBI, Isle of Man, Jersey. So there are almost 10 or 12 jurisdictions that they work across and provide services to. So if you're a corporate who want to set up a office in five different uh, uh, of these islands, uh, they would help you with all of them. And, so this and is the term sorry. came up, uh, and the term came up uh, nicely because uh, from, from a, a tourism perspective, these are all paradise islands, and we're also talking about tax paradises. Right. So both right. come together in a nice. Uh, like. Okay, so these are tax havens or tax yeah. paradises, yeah. and who gave the word? Yeah. Who gave the word? Oh, uh, it, uh, it took some time. Uh, all global partners, almost all global partners, had their solutions. Uh -huh. And finally, they came up globally up. we came up uh, to this uh, consensus. So what was the Indian Express suggestion? <laughs> um, we all have Something similar. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. It was so long yeah. ago. Yeah. Okay, so these were um, co corporate entities, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And are you saying that these paradise... Uh, corporate entities, politicians, I mean there are several uh, also uh, individuals. Either, um, either companies or individuals. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. So companies both, are entities and individuals. Are. Right. So both corporates as well as political uh, people. Yeah. So everybody, anybody or everybody That's who true. had um, salted away money in these tax havens or in these tax paradises across across. Well, the which country. is why it was very important to go through all documents and all pages because so that you don't miss out on any name or any company. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is something there down in the in the tenth page that you are looking into. So so you have to right. only uh, you have to go through it. So and which, where do you get these papers tiring. from? <laughs> That's what I told you. There's, there was a global. There's a global database that we ha we have access to based on a lot of security. Uh, who who gives pay, who gives see, these documents to this see, global database? Uh, the, the leak came from an unnamed source to a German partner who so can't sure. right, who can't handle so much obviously. Like, like an Edward papers. Snowden type of much much bigger uh, dump. So and you cannot tell us who that is. We don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. Okay, even they don't know. No, it's a the leak is not named. So it's like a deep throat kind of yeah, so. guy who's pointing you in this direction mm -hmm. and who is saying that here is this cache of papers. The papers come and then uh, then it is all aggregated and uh, to make sense out of it. I mean, obviously there's a huge chunk of document that come and then everything goes into this database. It is uh, kind of organized a bit and all that. And uh, it it came to as as he told us, it came to the German uh, our German partner first. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they then take it to ICIJ, and then ICIJ distributes it globally because uh, to, to their global partners because one entity can't handle. It. it took ten months for us to do the Indian story. Just imagine if one entity was doing across the globe, it would take years for anybody to conclude uh, to two stories uh, to so many stories. Now you obviously had to fact check every bit of information that was in each of those pages. Yeah. So what did you do? Let's see. Uh, one thing uh, I must mention here that ICIJ has invested a lot because uh, you know this database. Some of it is uh, emails, some are video files, some are photo files, mm -hmm. JPEG word documents, so Excel now, files. Yeah. If you if you search for something, mm -hmm. you, you cannot search uh, through a old PDF file or, or a photo file. So the first of all, the, all the files have to be made searchable. Right. And that takes uh, quite a bit of uh, a technical input and investment. So mm -hmm. that um, ICIJ has made. They have also invested in a huge server where mm -hmm. this huge uh, dump will be placed mm -hmm. with multiple layers of security mm -hmm. and then they have created a customized search engine which we would have access to, access to. And, through, and that would 
make our job easier. <laughs> and even after doing all that, we took as long as we took. Yeah, yeah. But uh, here we have we have to say that uh, uh, without ICIG, this kind of a collaboration is not possible because it is not only about maintaining secrecy mm -hmm. or uh, getting together. It, it also took a, a, a lot of rigor in terms of tech and also um, editorial. Mm -hmm. so, so if uh, if somebody like me, a lay person who's who's not been part of the investigation, if I if I key in keywords, will I also have access no. to these uh, documents that that you guys had? No. In fact, uh, for the registry itself, I mean, to be uh, to register yourself with them, I mean, there's a long process. It takes some time. For, it took some time for us to finally get registered and to be able to uh, access uh, the, the uh, to the access the information. Yeah, information. Yeah. And if you and if you forget your uh, keys, keys, you're out. You're what out. do you mean the key? What key? And there are many keys to get into. Uh, uh, so every time you access, almost daily, every time you sit down and do your work, you have you have to access the data. And there is right. double authentication process. There there are codes that come to your mobile which have to be keyed in, and then you get access. There, there's so many. So things. did that change? Did these codes change every day? Not every day, but uh, yeah, the, uh, but our, mo our mobile codes are changed every, every second. So that's second. a different issue. Now, okay. did that mean that you had secure computers, or can you just do it on your MacBook or on your no, office computer? Uh, you can, but you, you have to uh, take some measures so that your Mac becomes a kind of a secure, secure laptop. Sandeep, did you do it on your office computer? Did I, you have a special? I did, but but uh, uh, we were not supposed to uh, send documents on our official mails, or we were all using hush mails. I see. Yeah. So, t tell tell me a little bit more about that. I mean, it's a secure mail. I mean, with, for which we pay a handsome amount per annum. Okay. And and it's encrypted. Nobody can enter that. It can't be hacked. And that's that's what. I yeah, hope so, it can't be hacked. Uh, yeah. And also, I mean, uh, and, uh, well, since we pay, we better hope that. Yeah, <laughs> and also for all communication with ICIG and our partners, there is a uh, term that's called separate. a protocol called PGP, which means. Uh, a pretty good protection. Uh -huh. So you have to create a key, uh, and uh, only a person who has a counter key can open your mail and vice versa. So explain to me, Jay, when you suppose you were to open your laptop, open your computer, how long would it take you to enter a document? Just describe the process to me. If I am not doing something wrong, then maybe uh, three, four minutes. That's fine. That's so, that. so explain the process to me. So you open your laptop. What do you do? What did you? What do you first do? <laughs> we go to the URL. <laughs> okay, and you're not going to tell us the URL. Then, no, because it's, it's, uh, okay. uh, because you know uh, the development on the other side, the hacker side is also phenomenal. So it's also it's also huge. I mean, uh, it's a race between uh, our protection and and the hacker's uh, capability. Okay. So, any any lead may may cause trouble. Okay, so you go so. to the URL, you punch in the URL, and then and then we log in with our respective uh, passwords, uh, uh, IDs, passwords, and all that, and uh, okay. and then enter uh, uh, these uh, authenticators, uh, the, the, which change every second. Okay, and then we get into the uh, server and then access the documents. Okay, and. My last question to you before we wind up is on fact checking every story. So when you had that information, did you have to, like you do with every other story, did you have to sort of yeah, go yeah, back uh, to the person and we fact had, check? We, we had to do that, but this time it was uh, a little easier than Panama Papers because Panama Papers threw up a uh, lot many individual names, uh, mm -hmm. many of uh, we didn't know, and put some addresses. So we had to, so we had to go door to door to find out who are they, okay. if they exist at all. Right. This time, um, most entities are corporate. So uh, if you have a company, it's much easier to find them. To find them it's basically account. the nature of the entities involved. Maybe right. last time it was more individual, this, this time it's corporate. But but still, I mean, when we are doing a corporate story, maybe the, the document that we have is for four years and uh, say for 2000 to 2004, there is some document for a company. But uh, what happened since 2004 that we uh, went through ROC documents, we went through companies' uh, annual reports, we have gone through uh, all of the financial deals that, that were publicly available. And, uh, that's how, uh, and that's how you wrote your story. Yeah. Thank you guys, Jay and Sandeep. Thank you for your time. This has been a massive investigation that these uh, journalists have been carrying out for several months since January 2017. You've been reading them in the Indian Express these last couple of days and keep, keep a lookout for many more to come. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching.